I would like to show you a scenario of editing ArcGIS Geo databases using feature services in AutoCAD. However, first, I'm going to be looking at this data from a view of another individual who's browsing the same data on the free ArcGIS.com online viewer. I want to look at an area where some data maintenance needs to occur to update a recent development project. I want to take a look at the progress of the ongoing work. I will use the location service to locate the project by its address. I see that most of the lines have been added, but most of the meters need to be added still. There was a pipe that needed to be removed, and a fire hydrant also needs to be added. I will now switch roles and open AutoCAD with the ArcGIS for AutoCAD plugin already installed. I have already added the same map service I was looking at on the online viewer as a raster backdrop to my AutoCAD session using the plugin. I use the same location service to zoom me to the project location this time inside AutoCAD. You can start to see how the ArcGIS system is providing the same map service and location services either in the web viewer or here inside of AutoCAD. I will add an imagery based map from ArcGIS Online to give me more geographic context for the work session. I have access to these same base maps within the web map viewer. I am connecting to my ArcGIS server to access the feature service that has been made available for me. I can see that this is the same server for which I connected to a map service of the same data that is already in my drawing. Different from the map service, this feature service will stream the actual vector features into my AutoCAD drawing so that I can edit them, rather than just as the raster map backdrop. I won't need all the tens of thousands of features in this geo database here inside my drawing, rather I just need to stream those features in my current view to edit this area. Once in the drawing, these objects are plain AutoCAD entities, and if I put a new AutoCAD entity on the right AutoCAD layer, I will be adding features to the Geo database. Likewise, to delete a GIS feature, I just delete the AutoCAD entity here in my drawing. When editing feature services, an editing tool palette automatically appears that assists me in putting new objects on the right layer. However, I can use any AutoCAD tool I want to be the most productive. Here I'll copy the meter that is already on the correct layer and make quick work of adding all the meters. To delete a pipe, I just delete the entity. To finish my work, I need to add a fire hydrant that consists of a lateral line, a valve, and a hydrant assembly. This time, I'll use the AutoCAD technique to clone an entity by using the Add Select tool, and then pick a valve from the tool palette and finish off by adding a fire hydrant. All of these entities are also representing GIS features with descriptive attributes. I can use the provided database table viewer here to make a multi-record database edit of the meter attributes that I've added as features in the drawing. Or alternately, I can edit the attributes of a single feature, like this hydrant, by using the attribute editing tool provided on the ArcGIS for AutoCAD ribbon menu. I have finished the data maintenance work and I will commit my changes. I get a report of the edits I've made, and those are the edits I did make, so I will confirm those changes, and I can see the changes reflected in the map service drawn by the server. If I now go back to the view from ArcGIS.com, when I refresh the screen, I see the changes to the geodatabase also reflected in the same map service shown here.